Okay, it was highlighted that uh, after your dashboard or first page of your first page of your device spec reference technical reference, there will be a second page and further regarding all other data or characteristic that you need to consider inside your design before your simulation and your production of your system or your computer. Okay, the first thing after your front page uh, regarding the limits of voltage, current, whatever, on your device, you have to look at your safe operating area tables. You can see here, the device, let's say we refer to device number one, for this diode, it's stated in the front page that the device can flow or can conduct in terms of average current some device they are stated in RMS some in average so you have to follow the data sheet so you stated here the device can withstand up to 8 ampere of average voltage and in terms of re reverse uh, uh, holding uh, voltage the data sheet to represent the 200, 400, 600, and 800 volts of device series. So this, this data sheet represents the BY229 series. So we can see on the next uh, slide uh, page. This is the range of 200, 400, and 600, and 800 volts of voltage spike device. So the term and the end page maybe will uh, indicate which device is categorized on which kind of voltage limit okay for the table that i mentioned just now maybe it was stated on the next page or sometimes just stated or shows on the page uh, the other page other than the next page no? so for this one so for this device, it's stated here the safe operating area table, but it's not mentioned as a safe operating area uh, table, but it indicates here the maximum non-repetitive RMS forward current on a certain certain um, pulses application. Let's say you use a pulse of 1 millisecond, 10 millisecond, 1 nanosecond, and 10 second. Sorry, 1 second and 10 second means that this is more to DC application. This is more to high frequency switching application. For high frequency wise, high frequency wise, we can go, you can, you can use a pulses uh, uh, current up to certain tenth of ampere, but you have to reduce to below 10 ampere the RMS current when you use in switching range of 1 second to 10 second okay if we take a look at other data sheet maybe we refer to the second data sheet for the SCR silicon control identifier triad is now so we start over here we can go up to 50 ampere 600 to 1200 volt of withstanding voltage so you take a look at the figure 2 over here this is the average and dc on state current versus case temperature so the safe operating area for this device is more related to how much you have to limit your current based on the case temperature case temperature means that the we cannot measure the heat that rise or appear on the junction but we can measure the heat on the case so that's why we indicate here the case temperature so at certain case temperature at certain case temperature let's say if the case temperature is maintained at if let's say we maintain the case temperature at 25 degrees c which is within a room temperature so both uh, BTW69, BTW69, uh, 
six seven, we are able to use or push in fifty ampere, provided our conduction is on DC mode. But if you use alpha and conduction mode of one hundred eighty degrees, so we have to reduce uh, the current down to around thirty to thirty two ampere. So what happen if we push more? So the heat will be rise up and you will exceed the limit. You have a blown uh, device. And it's like your car, you have a over rule or override your your limits. So your general radiator will burst. So if let's say you're operating your device at higher uh, temperature and it is impossible to maintain your temperature of your case at 25 degrees C provided you provide a heat sink with a with a force cooling and in practical maybe your heat of your case will be rise up to 100 volt 100, 100 uh, degrees C or somewhere around here from 80 to 100 so we have to reduce accordingly not 50 not 40 but maybe around this area for DC application for alpha which is 180 degrees maybe within 25 ampere only and below or below 20 ampere like that so it means that your dashboard is showing the maximum limit of your current rating for your device but with a certain certain condition provided you operate in DC but if you want to operate your circuit using uh, alpha control of other than that uh, uh, DC mode so you have to consider accordingly on this kind of limitation so this is the limit of safe operating area uh, mode so let's say we take a look at the third data sheet which is a MOSFET just now for diode, transistor and now for MOSFET so it indicate on the table next to the first sheet which is which is indicate on the page number six and page number six here you can see over here from page number six it's the third yeah safe operating area so indicate the limit of your uh, capability of your device in front page it stated that the device can up you can push up to 12 ampere but for limitation based on safe operating error that recommended by by this uh, manufacturer If based on temperature limit by the case, you can see you have to reduce. And you reduce from, let's say 25 here, 25 degrees, you can use up to uh, 18, 18, sorry, up to here. And, but if you going to use, Okay, sorry, this is maximum avalanche energy versus starting junction temperature. But this is the maximum rated for forward bias safe operating area. So if you use your circuit and your limits now, just now stated at 12 ampere. 12 ampere. And you set it at 12 ampere. But if you use your application within If your application within DC and this is your limit so this is your limit within DC and if you use at high frequency switching 10 microsecond 10 microsecond means what and 10 microsecond means within few kilohertz 100 kilohertz let's say so you are able to push your your device up to 12 ampere but if you use within uh, 100 uh, 10 kilohertz or just 
1 kilohertz so you have to reduce accordingly so this is the range uh, of the limit so this is your voltage drain to source voltage and it stated that it can extend up to 100 volt but if you are using at certain certain uh, frequency so you have to reduce and based on this reference line okay let's say if you use you're going to use your converter to operate within 10 millisecond of operating 10 millisecond of operating frequency and so you are going to use uh, let's say 10 20 volt of application so this is the range that maximum the current and voltage that this device can ha handle so if within this uh, if within this operating let's say you're going to design your your converter you set first your frequency operating frequency then this is the limit at 10 milliseconds of switching this is the limit it can goes up to 20 volt with this 1 2 3 4 5 ampere of application but if you increase further and increase further in terms of your voltage so 10 20 30 40 or 50 volt so the limit of handling current is reduced to here 1 2 3 ampere only if you push more in terms of voltage operating up to 80 volt so this is the maximum your device can extend 2 ampere so this is the range of the limit of safe operating area that you have to follow and for the certain certain device so it doesn't mean that when you select a MOSFET which can extend up to 100 amps uh, sorry up to certain ampere and to 100 volt it applies to all your scenario it based on this safe operating area on a certain certain frequency you have to reduce or downgrade your device based on this chart so you have to take care on this safe operating area table